Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we have a very very hot news. Uh, World of Tanks Europe page released, well, World of Tanks Europe overall released the new video Crew 2.0. Remember the one which a lot of people roasted and said it's absolutely disgusting? That one. So our gaming is uh, pretty much... Um, Obviously, they invested the resources and everything into this and they are not going to let it down. So, they are going to rework it and to make it look so much better and so much more appealing. So, without further ado, let's teleport into the video and check it out how everything is looking like. Crew 2.0 was already tested on Sandbox earlier this year. Compared to the current crew, it had quite a lot of changes. The crew became an integral whole, but kept its individuality. Skills and perks were revised. Talents, instructors, and many other things were added. All these changes raised many questions from you, and oh, we're yes, grateful indeed. for your response. Now it's time to launch the second sandbox for Crew 2.0, and tell you what changes we've added to the new iteration of testing based on your feedback. After the first sandbox, there was plenty of feedback that the crew didn't get the experience of a zero perk when converting it from the old crew to a new crew. We took that into account, and now zero perks are considered when calculating experience. This is absolutely amazing. Uh, uh, this is very, very, very uh, strong thing, fellas. Because a lot of people had the brother-in-arm crews and they were pretty much disappearing. So now you are going to get the equal amount of experience by converting. This is a good change, in my opinion. After conversion, you'll receive the crew and instructors of the same mastery level. Nice. The skills and perks have been changed as well. We moved the effects of all skills and perks of the old crew to the new system and adjusted them so that the new crew is at the same level, or more often even better, than its old analog in terms of characteristics. Wow, this is actually huge. Okay, listen. Uh, remember, remember, fellas, when uh, we had the first... Um when the first uh, information about the crew 2.0 came and nowadays i mean okay let's check the game uh quickly let's check the game experience at crew night okay let's see for example what do we have we have let's take light tank and um, let's take the russian light tank for example we have five crew skills so counting the different crew skills what do we have fellas i mean look at this this is absolutely madness so only from the Okay, let's make it visible. You can see everything beautiful. So what do we have? We have brother in arms. That's one skill. Um, snapshot, second skill. Smooth ride, third skill. Um, um, the sixth sense, fourth skill. After that, we have camo as a fifth skill. Repairs as a sixth skill. After that, we have the off-road driving, seventh skill. Recon and the situational, situational of awareness, eighth skill. You get the point what I'm saying? Yeah, that's the thing. And it was a big fat problem of a lot of people speaking about the crew 2.0 because you are getting way less uh, um, use for yourself at least uh, uh, on those kind of experience at levels but keep this in mind um, a humongous problem of the people was uh, whenever you are getting maximum level 75 your tank is becoming even more stronger because you are getting 10% or 20% or 30% uh, increase for a tanks and it's like separating the new players uh, against the good players uh, or I suppose to say experienced players by a humongous margin. Now upon conversion, you immediately get a new crew with all the features of the old set of skills and perks. Uh -huh. You can join a battle and be sure that you won't lose your combat effectiveness. That's nice. If nice the old change. set doesn't suit you for the new crew, you can reset skills for the first time for free. We distribute the points and create a crew for your own playstyle. There are enough combinations of skills. Also, you paid attention to the lack of commander's bonus in the new crew. We solved this problem. Now any crew will have three skills by default. Sixth Sense, the light bulb familiar to everyone. Triangulation, the renamed sound detection perk. I see. And Mentor, that very commander's bonus. 
Wow, okay, that's interesting. I don't know how about mentor, how is it going to work? I don't really care about this. But three six cents is huge and art skill is actually also pretty damn smart thing to give for free uh, for people for free because no one was using it uh, in the game. Let's get real. How many of you was using the sound detection perk? Huh? on the commander which have so much already on his shoulders not too many people was using it so pretty much where gaming is giving it for free and tech we are going to give you this as a compensation interesting logic but what i truly like i truly like uh, uh, the sixth sense uh, as a free skill it's supposed to be five years ago as a bare minimum the maximum number of skill points of main crew progression has been increased from 75 to 80. This way, you'll have the opportunity to train eight skills to the full extent. Oh. Fun fact, the amount of experience required to reach the maximum level remains the same. It equals the amount of XP to fully train five skills or perks in the old crew system. When training your crew over level... This is good. This is actually very, very interesting. Truly interesting because uh, eight to you can take eight skills now in the in the new two um, in the new crew two point oh wow pretty damn interesting stuff honestly very very nice. The lady, you can't use crew books anymore. It's done to make the crew training fair for both the players who have the opportunity of using crew books and those who will train the tankers on their own. Wait. It's still possible to use crew books in main progression. The sum of bonuses to vehicle handling at the professional expertise stage is reduced to 15%. This is done to balance the boost to the crew effectiveness during training. Okay. Okay. So what is happening? What is happening, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen? By the looks of it, what we're gaming is doing, we're gaming is giving less bonuses for your tank crew. But I did not fully understood what the flying F uh, they meant with a crew chain, um, with a books. So what you can do with the books now? Uno momento, let's watch it once again. Anymore. Let's watch it once again. I am very, very curious. When training your crew over level 80, you can't use crew books anymore. Oh, over level 80, you cannot use the crew books. Okay, Roger, that. Never mind. Everything is fine. Effectiveness during training. We also heard your feedback and reworked instructors. Good. When adding the instructor to the crew, you can select their certification, nation, if it's not predetermined, and bonus skills of the selected training course until you click apply. Now Amazing changes amazing changes solid banana out of 10 so what is happening here fellas remember that rng fiesta with the crew commanders or the instructors or however they are called uh this is humongous thing you can pick up what do you want extremely big fat gg to our gaming for that this is very very good because rng fiesta there was absolutely disgusting beautiful well, you define the skills you want to improve yourself the only limitation is that all instructor skills should correspond to the certification you choose. The bonus skills of instructors of the unique crews, such as Sabaton or The Offspring, are assigned automatically. They are given the skills with bonuses that are most required for their vehicles. Ha! But gaming understanding what is more... Uh what is the most requirable for the tank and our understanding is two different things bad call from our gaming side if for example your favorite tank crew is sabaton right or offsprings or whatever else uh, for our gaming to make a decision for you well i think you need this ah uh, that's absolutely disgusting in my humble opinion in other words this is not very very nice and every single person should suppose it to uh, select the skills themselves at least in my opinion Additionally, the principle of instructor skill points distribution has also changed. Instructors and directives now either add bonus points to a particular skill when the level of this skill is below 10, or increase the maximum level of its training if the level of this skill is 10 or more. The instructor's class names were changed. Instead of class 1, 2 and 3, they are now standard, valuable and unique instructors. The okay. first take up one crew slot. They provide a small bonus to one skill and increase the amount of XP that crew receives by... 
Okay, this is standard uh, standard uh, commanders or standard um, instructors, right? The most important thing, watch this. This is actually very very interesting situation because if you are if you want to boost something, what you have over level ten, so for example, snapshot. So you want to snapshot better. You are going to get only one um, point boost. But if you are going to um, boost the skill which don't have a level ten yet, you are going to have two plus. This is actually very very good and it kind of equals the playground as wrong as it sounds 10 percent valuable instructors take up two crew slots <laughs> look at this this is a plus five booster but wait a second if it if it is taking two two crew slots so in in a way you are getting only one bonus point here okay that makes sense they provide significant bonus to two skills and increase the amount of crew XP by 40%. They are, they are obviously way more valuable. Finally, unique instructors are the members of special group crews, such as Sabaton or the Offspring. They take up all four crew slots, provide great bonus to three skills and increase the amount of crew XP by 100%. Great bonus for a crew skills. Oh, really? The skills which we're gaming will pick for you. So once again, depends what they are picking for you. Are they picking the uh, brother in arms for you or are they uh, picking for you the camo or, for example, whatever, a ramming skill? So everything is depending uh, how the things will look like. And this is also interesting stuff. With instructor bonuses and a directive, you can train skill points up to level 15. Mm -hmm. What's even better is that now all bonus points provide the same skill boost. Finally, we revise the amount of XP that is lost when retraining the crew for free or for credits. Now less XP is lost, especially at the late training stages. We continue testing Crew 2.0 oh, together brilliant. with you. This is a way. crucial new feature, and as always, we need your feedback. Join the sandbox, take part in testing, and share your comments. More details about the second uh -huh. iteration of Crew 2.0 are available in the special news article linked in the description to this video. This is actually very, very interesting stuff, and this is going to add quite a bit of variety to the game, to be fair with you. I think our gaming went kind of to the right direction, because once again, they uh, they made some good stuff right here. For example, people which have 7 to 8 skills, their tank is not going to be as powerful as they presented at first for getting free ventilations and so on. I mean, 5% up, 4% up, and so on. Now they are getting a bit more less bonus. Uh, but in the same time, fellas, this is this is very interesting stuff because uh, looking into this, uh, it is looking a bit more equal than it was before. Instructors got changed, hip hip hooray and so on. But this is still very, very, very uh, humongous change for a game. Why so? Because we will have so damn uh, many crazy builds out there you can trust me on this one and probably we are going to have a broken light tanks like elc even with a bloody probably 70 percent camo skills and everything which is not going to be visible on the open ground when you are 200 meters away from it and so on this is going to be interesting stuff is it a game changer absolutely yes and if you um if you want to join the sandbox i would highly recommend you to do so if you if you want to um obviously you can check out how the things are looking like here right and uh, and you can find the certain and links and obviously feel free to check out our gaming uh, video itself overall it is looking definitely better than it was before um, but by any means it is not ideal and probably you are going to see that by the like dislike ratio after some time as you can see like dislike ratio is humongous because people in a way are afraid of the um, changes which which were gaming wants to do or overall people are afraid of the changes at least that's what i think and that's what i noticed and um, everyone is very 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 pessimistic about this anyways 
check the things out yourself, go into the test server and give Wargaming feedback if it's possible and I think this is going to be the very first time when I am actually going to go to the test server myself to test out the things uh, for one particular reason because this is a humongous change and probably uh, every single uh, vote uh, kind of matters. Uh, Speaking about the current situation and everything skill, what do you think? Uh, you think Wargaming is going to get rid of this idea for a crew 2.0? No. Uh, they invested the resources and everything and I think the crew 2.0 either way is going to be there. But now the question is how they are going to present it and how uh, and how everything is going to look like, right? So keep this in mind. Anyways, those are my two cents uh, of the current situation and of the current uh, video uh, or presentation from our gaming side. So um, let me know your comment down below. Do you want this or you don't want this uh, and what do you think overall about two po um, about the crew 2.0 do you think we need this or you don't think we need this and it's a waste of time and everything so thank you very much for watching fellas that was your daily dose of skill and see you very very soon skill is out peace <laughs>